and I got the real more the used one on uh, Facebook marketplace for forty dollar the way that I did it was like just a motor and uh, connect the chain to this bucket down here so I drill uh, a couple holes right here so the screw right here is M6 so I get drill like quarter inch hole a little bit bigger than the bolt itself and uh, screw it from the bottom up and uh, tie it right here and uh, also when I'm doing that I need to make sure that I align the uh, sprocket from the motor uh, with the one at the bottom This controller have all the thing that we need so this one right here that's gonna go to the motor this one where the battery power coming in now the set that we need is this one right here with the three wires so this is called a speed control scooter thumb controller so you push on this and the further you push it down the faster the motor are gonna run and also don't forget the fuse the uh, the fuse right here um, so this motor right here you can see it rating at uh, uh, 10.7 amps so the closest one we should put in here is uh, 15 you know to protect the motor and uh, the controller Now let test this out. After a few tests run, I found that uh, go full speed is too violent. So I end up putting what I call a limited switch. Technically get the end of a zip tie and I get stuck in there. So when I push the button, it will stop right there so give it about like uh, about 50 60 percent power 